The topic of this video is graphing functions from the library of functions. Here's our next problem. Graph the absolute value function f of x equals the absolute value of x. Okay, so here's what this means. This means we're starting with an input x, we're going to send it into a machine named f, and when it comes out, it's going to be the absolute value of x. So here's our diagram. x is the input, it goes into a machine named f, and the instructions say, take the absolute value. So if you start with x and you take the absolute value, what comes out is the absolute value of x. And since the thing that comes out is called f of x, we get f of x equals the absolute value of x. So this is a pretty simple idea. Whatever x is, y is just the absolute value of that number. So the absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2. The absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. The absolute value of 0 is 0. The absolute value of 1 is 1. The absolute value of 2 is 2. Remember, absolute value takes something negative and makes it positive, but it takes something 0 or positive and leaves it alone. All right, so now we're going to create the graph that goes with these five points. We're going to get a v-shape for this particular graph. Two, two, negative two, negative two. Let's plot our points. Negative two, two, here. Negative one, one, here. Zero, zero, here. One, one, here. Two, two, here. So the absolute value graph consists of two rays. And remember, lines, line segments, and rays must be drawn with a straight edge. So get out your straight edge and draw the first ray and the second ray. And there we have it. This is the graph of the absolute value function.